Windmills and wind farms are modern staples for renewable energy, from towering giants harnessing the power of the wind to innovative designs revolutionizing renewable energy. Get ready to be blown away by the science behind these modern marvels. Let's soar with the winds of discovery on this episode of 300 Seconds of Science. The basic premise behind wind turbines is likely something that we all at least kind of understand. It's simple really, a large pole with large blades gets blown by the wind, powering a generator inside through kinetic energy. What is kinetic energy? Kinetic energy is the energy an object has due to its movement. It's one of the fundamental principles in the science of motion, and wind turbines too. But hold on, if we're gonna keep learning about some fancy science stuff, we might need a change of setting here. Whoa, not the entrance I had in mind, but this works. One of the greatest advantages of wind energy is its sustainability. Unlike fossil fuels, wind power produces zero greenhouse gas emissions and has minimal impact on the environment. It's a clean, renewable energy source that can help combat climate change and it'll also reduce our dependence on finite resources. That's the easy version, but let's make the most of this school setting here and really get into how windmills actually function. Like, what even is the anatomy of a windmill? I mean, it might just look pretty simple. I mean, a big stick with smaller sticks on it that move to produce energy, but there's actually a lot at play here to create what we know about windmills. First, those smaller sticks? Well, they're called blades, made up of fiberglass reinforced polyester, an especially durable material that will allow structures to stand up against high winds, severe thunder, and even hail. These blades are attached to what's called an nacelle, a special kind of housing that keeps all the systems that help the windmill function together, like the generator and braking system for when the turbine needs repair. Nacelles are generally really useful to keep all the essential parts of windmills close together, and it helps protect them from outside forces such as rain and thunder. So why is it that windmills are shaped the way they are? Well, it all comes down to the aerodynamic principles of lift and drag. The shape of the blades are carefully designed to exploit these forces using what's called an airfoil shape, which is really similar to the wings of an airplane. This airfoil shape is used because it maximizes wind efficiency by tailoring the shape of the blade to the forces of the wind. Doing this allows for far greater energy inputs than any other shape. The most confusing part about wind turbines is how we turn all that kinetic energy into something that we can actually use to power our homes and businesses. What does that process actually look like? In order to transfer that kinetic energy, we use rotors, which are connected to the blades. The rotor's role is to take that kinetic energy from the spinning blades and give it to the connected generator, turning all that energy into electricity. It's a simple process, but there's a lot of extra systems at play that make things actually work. The electricity generated from the wind turbine is initially in the form of an alternating current. This electricity is transmitted through cables down the tower and into an electrical substation. There, it's converted to higher voltage for efficient transmission over long distances through power lines. Ultimately, the electricity reaches out to all of our favorite hangout spots and burger joints located in our neighborhoods. What I'm talking about is what happens if our windmills are facing the right direction and everything is working as it should, but the winds? They're unpredictable. What if the wind's direction changes? If the wind is going perpendicular to the windmill, a wind vane is used to determine the optimal direction for the windmills to face. The wind vane only tells the windmill where the wind is coming from, but the yaw drive is what actually turns the windmill. That's why you always see windmills moving in the right direction on videos online or in person if you're lucky to live near a windmill farm. Wind energy has a tremendous potential to drive the transition to a more sustainable future. However, challenges such as intermittency and grid integration need to be addressed to fully realize its benefits. That's why ongoing research and innovation is crucial in advancing wind technology. Right now, the world is making progress on making more windmill farms as we slowly transition to fully renewable energy. That's the goal, and one day, I truly believe that we'll get there. As the sun sets on another day, the wind continues to blow, reminding us of the limitless potential of renewable energy. By harnessing the power of the winds, we can create a cleaner, brighter future for generations to come. Thanks for joining us on this whirlwind adventure through the science of windmills. 
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more mind-blowing insights into the wonders of science. Until next time, keep riding the winds of curiosity. This program was produced by ZTV at the University of Akron. Do you want to gain experience in video production, professional social media, or working with real clients? Visit the UA School of Communications online or follow us on social media to learn more. ZTV. Make media. Make a difference.